everyone, welcome back to the Power Ranger Vlog. As we're talking about the next the next episode, the Royal Rangers. And before we begin, Nickelodeon, stop dangling the damn apple over my damn head. You guys brought up the Gold Ranger, or we're expecting. Okay, the Gold Ranger's gonna be coming up real soon. All we get right now is the history of the Gold Ranger, which he's a knight instead of the traditional samurai in the Japanese version. Okay. We begin the episode with Kendall introducing a new power to the Rangers that was real fast and we really did not, and it just came out of nowhere. It's supposed to power you up during your battle in the Megazord, and it gives you an armor with the battery thing on top of your chest, which produces a few contra problems with what I have. One, she only made two. Only Tyler and Coda grabbed it. How did all five of them get in? Unless she made the other three when we weren't looking. Okay. I should state more on the episode. Through this time, Shelby is trying to get this one boy's arc to be shown in the museum. Which, even Kendall was speaking the truth. It's a history museum, not an art exhibit. Go to an art museum. Tell me it's not that hard. Unless they don't have an art museum in the city. I don't know. They don't show you anything really about the city. And also, they are introducing a night exhibit. Talking about the Stone of Zondor. Which, I'm still standing there thinking, I thought this was a dinosaur museum, not a night museum. Okay. Anyway, Fury attacks with the pterosaur during the beginning battle. And we just also learn, like most of the Six Ranger Zord, it doesn't need anything else to morph. It just goes, <laughs> morphs, ready to fight. And it has arm blade, a shield cloak, and a chest laser. How come the Six Ranger Zord's always more badass than the, the main Zord? I never get that. Okay, what else? They soon discover that because of the fact that they got the night exhibit for Xandor, they found the gold energy. Talk about being right under your feet. <laughs> the next question, how are they going to explain the people they got the exhibit from about the stone? When they know it's like, this is a fake stone, why did they took the real stone? They're going to have to try to make up some excuse for the gold energy. Well, yeah, and they decided to trick Fury into getting the Energem, which I'm at first wondering, what are you thinking, Tyler, giving Fury the gold Energem? And for somehow they know that Poissandra watches gossip news, though we really don't know much about Por the Rangers wouldn't know much about Poissandra that know that she likes gossip news. And with the luck, Fury found out they found the gold air gem. They decided, let's do this. We'll give them the energy gem by dressing up as the prince and princess of Xandor and do a little bit of a speech. Shelby was chosen to be the princess, but deciding to refuse until she seen Tyler dressed up as a prince, which made her decide to be a princess again. And my only like, opinion, these two are going to hook up near the end of the series, aren't they? I just know it. They, it feels like they're going to. Eh, I'm not going to care. I guess she likes tofu. During their acting as the prince and princess, they bring back the callback for the kid's art. Going, look how great this art is, and everybody start buying it. Talk about a fool's... Who's following who in the full department? Fury channels the Kool-Aid Man by blasting through a stage set. I, don't, I think it was a art thing or something. Takes the energy, summons the pterosaur, and then gets trolled because it's a fake. So they can make fakes. Now, we only have to worry about what does the museum have to worry about when they get a fake. Fury then challenged them with two nameless minions, well, monsters of the week, and all the minions, and they battle them. 
And also I learned that they could toss their weapons to another ranger and don't have to worry. And also they can connect with each other to be more stronger. That I didn't know. That would be That's actually kind of cool. So you don't need to form the dino spike. You just need at least a f two to... On the two pieces to form a weapon. In this case, the Tyrannosaurus gauntlet thingy and the Parasolophus gun. Though it looks mm -hmm. more, looks like something besides a gun. I'm not, I don't know what it would look like, but it's not like a gun. Okay. Tyler was able to defeat Fury, and before he was going to do the finish him off, the creature inside of Fury started bursting out doing the let me out, let me out! leaving Tyler to not attack Fury as Fury escapes. We soon also discover that the boy's art is now going to be shown in New York, then London, just to get rid of him. And they're thinking, we can't destroy Fury. He has my father hostage. Okay, let's start off the first problem. Did we really need the Julian, that was the boy who was doing the art's name, did we really even need him in this episode? He really had no purpose. He just did some good art, and that's it. They really didn't need him into the story. He wasn't even shown in the previous episode, so he was just some throwaway character. They just needed to pad the runtime. Next up, yeah, it's called the Royal Rangers, but it's only like a little simple skit that they do. They could have did something more, like calling... Talking about the stone they found. I mean, the average gem they found. Anything. Next up. No, Tyler, it is not your father. For one, for multiple reasons, even without cheating. One, Fury could power the pterosaur with, without the energy gem. Meaning that the ranger who connected with the gold stone, Xandor... He has captured, and he's using his power to power the, the battery. And two, uh, that's basically all I got for one. That's basically the only evidence. And, without, and yeah, I cheated. I watched the Japanese version, and Fury captured the samurai, who is representing the gold energy. So we know Xander is inside Fury, the knight. Which is going to be funny because I've seen the pterosaur blade. It looks more like a katana. And how they're going to make a knight with a katana. <laughs> when it's supposed to be more of a European style sword. Oh well. This episode was a little bit more like they just needed to give you more of a backstory of understanding Xandor and all that. So I'm not going to say I hate this episode, but at least it gives you more of a backstory of the Gold Ranger. And when he appears, we don't have to get the, wait, what, 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 what? That's mostly it. Oh yeah, I should mention, they did a high heel joke before the battle. Shelby was like, hurry up and morph, because I don't want, I'm these high heels are torturing me in a way. I'm not, it's not the exact words, but it was more like, she wants to morph because these high heels are making her suffer. Uh, that's all really I can say about this vlog. Mm, still not a good one, but better than last week's episode. Can't wait to see what next week's episode is. So until then, Rasa, signing out.